Virgos, welcome back. It's almost Halloween. Happy Halloween, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Your Love Life. All right, you guys, let's get into your reading. I hope you are all doing well. Remember, you can click the like or subscribe button. Make sure you tick the notification bell so you are alerted when I upload new videos. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on here for you. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, this is a Virgo-only channel. But anyone and everyone is welcome. All right, Virgo. What are Virgo's messages? Hope you guys are doing well in the chat. Hello to all the moderators and everyone else who's here regularly. Awesome to see you. Thank you in advance for any super chats. All right, let's take a look, Virgo. Okay, you have the magician. Okay, six of swords is in the reverse. And the six of wands is in the reverse. And I am taking reversals today. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Cups in the upright. Along with the Empress, Towers in reverse, Three of Swords, and Two of Cups. Okay, the bottom of the deck. Who's sitting here in contemplation, thinking about something? Um, Hmm, being very patient. This is a waiting. Somebody's waiting for something. Uh, waiting for your return. Hmm, Virgo. Okay. They're definitely waiting for your return. Waiting for you to take a drive by their house. <laughs> or drive by and connect with them. They're waiting for you to... Well... I'm not picking up reconciliation, but there is somebody here who is waiting for you. They could be waiting for you to come back from lunch break. They could be waiting for you to come back into the store. Um, I feel like you know this person. It could be a past lover. Uh, it could be a Cancer, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be a Scorpio, Libra, Pisces, a Gemini. Okay, for some of you, but I feel like somebody here is, you know, they're not overly stressed, but they're kind of like, they're either, yeah, it just feels like you're gone. Some of you are just gone. You're not communicating with somebody. You're not, I don't know. You left, you left somewhere, Virgo. Where did you go? You left something. You left a person, place, or a thing. Let me see here. What are the love messages for you, Virgo? Okay, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love. Present moments. Getting to know each other. Releasing your ex. All right, you guys. This is another <laughs> This is another new type of situation. Some of you have left someone behind. You left a past relationship or a past connection and this person is waiting for you to come back, okay? They're just waiting for you to reach out, drive by their house, come back to work, uh, reconnect with, reconnect in some way, um, come back into the bank. <laughs> I don't even know. It doesn't make any sense to me, but maybe some of you will make sense to you what's happening here. Um, if this is an ex-person, I feel like you guys have left the scene of the crime. You're like, no, I'm not. You're not involved with that anymore. You're forgiving this person. You've learned the lesson. You're releasing. You're healing the past. So you can have more love come into you. You could be meeting somebody new, though. Okay? Um, you could be meeting somebody new. And I kind of get a sense... That for some, uh, leaving a past person, you could be meeting someone. There's someone that has their eyes on you. They're interested in you. It's either at work, like I said. could be a boss or a colleague. Um, somebody that you're on the road. could be like a travel 
thing. This could be um, a real estate agent, broker. Um, they work in the financial, a financial department or in fi finances. Um, hmm. Some of you might be going on vacation or holiday or something like that. I just kind of feel like <clears throat> There's, there's definitely somebody here though, who's like trying to make some magic happen with you. Okay. But they're hesitant. They don't have a lot of confidence that, um, they're going to be able to do this. Okay. <laughs> um, they may have asked you out and you may have said no, or they may be asking you out. And you may say no. Um, I feel like this person's really just lacking the confidence and the courage to come forward, past or new. Let's see. Let's take a look at this edition. Yep. Page of Cups. So this feels like a new love or this person wants to initiate new a new love thing with you again. And they're scared to death. They're scared to, they're like completely into, either they're intimidated or there's a past history that you left. They think that you left and you're gone and they're maybe fearful that you're going to reject them. I feel like this person, if it's a past person, has like released and they healed a lot of things. If you've been in separation and they're hoping that you're going to return and for... A lot of you, this is somebody new, and you have released the past, and you've healed. But I feel like some of you are not trying to rush into things. But I do feel like you have like um, an admirer or someone who's interested in you. Now, I know yesterday we were talking about it was your medical or fitness trainer or something. <laughs> okay. I don't feel like that's this same thing. I feel this is somebody else. Virgo... This fair goes on fire. You're on fire right now. Okay, this person is waiting for the right time. I get a sense that they feel like if they reach out to you right now, it wouldn't be a good idea. Like you're going to shoot them down. The wheel of fortune, the wheel of the year in the reverse. Like it's not a favorable time for them either to ask you out for the first time or ask you out again or for your ex to come back who's still kind of like wondering if they should or shouldn't, okay? Because some of you may have already released them and moved on. It feels like they still want to. Um, this person is just kind of stuck right now. Whoever they are, they're stuck. Let's take a look at the Six of Wands in the reverse. Lacking this confidence... Okay, Eight of Wands, yep, in reverse. Um, it's just like they're delaying. This person is delaying. They see that if they reach out to you or they connect with you, whoever it is, that it's kind of like taking the steak out of the, off the grill way too soon. It's just, ten, it's not, it's not fully cooked. They, they see there'd be a lot of problems that it might, cause more problems okay um they're not i don't see this person really rushing towards you they're just delaying that right now that's what i feel um it's interesting i feel like this whoever this person is past or someone new coming in there's an energy here of wanting to get closer you know you guys i kind of feel like it's both situations you've got somebody from your past and you have somebody new or someone's just kind of hovering around you and it's just kind of keeping their eye on you and very interested in you but is you're not you're not going to know about it because they're kind of hiding they're not saying anything they're not revealing themselves but they're very interested in getting to know you it's just that virgo let me keep it real um this person Um, it's weird. They're kind of looking at you like, oh, I just heard, um, 
they have an understanding that you are right now working on yourself or trying to get yourself to be in a better position in your life. And that's why they're kind of waiting. I, I feel like this person might be very intuitive. <coughs> Sorry. Either they know, maybe they reached out to you before and you're like, this is not a good time. I'm trying to take care of business and I have a lot of stuff going on. Um, they might already know maybe you told them if, if you know who this is could be a past person um where you're just kind of like trying to get your money right you're trying to get more stable um you're trying to really stay in that follow-through energy where you're completing your goals and your tasks some of you might have told somebody that you're just not interested in a relationship right now or this is just not a good time you could have told your ex if they um, in the past, you might have left them or something ended and you just got it in your mind. This person's picking it up that you're trying to go from the queen of pentacles, male or female in the reverse to emperor empress status where you're like at the top of your game. And yet I feel like they're watching you and I feel like they still want to uh, deepen the bond with you. Now let's take a look here at so it could be a king of cups who's trying to deepen this bond with you it could be an earth sign it could be a libra like i said a cancer um could be a scorpio because we have scorpio here let me see show me what's going on with the queen of pentacles okay yeah ten of pentacles so i feel like a lot of you just said maybe to somebody or maybe you just quietly walked away um, they pick up if you didn't tell them they're picking up that you are maybe you're going through something um, uh, maybe you were relocating to a home or working on your business or trying to get more stable uh, working on leaving some kind of like I feel like a legacy of some sort you know, some of you might have gone through a foreclosure, you had some family conflicts, or you're just trying to get yourself back to terra firma. Some of you seeking new employment are just, you're, you're in a transition. And they're just waiting for the right time when they sense or when they know that you are free and clear that they're going to come in I don't know how they're gonna know I feel like people can pick up energy I feel like we can all pick up energies even if we don't have an absolute and like clear-cut answer we, we can just feel other people's energies or pick up the energies let's take a look at this king of cups here okay yeah knight of swords in the reverse so this person they're definitely delaying coming towards you but as soon as the opportunity arises they will okay um they're like deliberately holding back at this time like i said either you told them or you gave an impression that you just were you had your focus was elsewhere now let's take a look some of you have uh something going on with a mother they have to take care of a mother or um, a sister there could be somebody's there's a pregnancy involved it could also be um, some of you have an ex that is still kind of lingering um, from a past situation that you're trying to get out of um, in order to like transition to a new situation in your life okay the world reverse yeah so it feels like there's definitely unfinished something's unfinished here that's attached to you okay um there's a waiting energy there's so much waiting energy whenever cards are reversed they the general description of them is delay and waiting so i feel like there's a lot of that going on from this person with you um i don't feel like whoever's showing interest in you a uh, new person 
past person, both of them, or they're separately. There's a lot of like Virgos, like I'll let y'all know when I'm ready. Because I don't feel like you are at this time. I feel like you want new love, but you have some stuff here that is still, you don't want to burden anybody. I definitely feel like that. And, um, you know, I just, I just kind of feel like for some of you, you're taking care of a parent and it's like a permanent thing. And for some of you, that might be an obstacle for you. Um, maybe you're transitioning into that right now, or it's just an, it's a, it comes with the package now at this time and some of you just may not be able or you may not feel like this would be good for you to be getting involved with someone or going or maybe going back to some or allowing somebody from your past to come back you have a lot on your plate here it could be work family members like a lot of responsibilities children um some of you just made a decision to not date others and let go of the past and just focus on taking care of family. But I still feel like whoever is hovering here, whoever's in the background, somebody's in the background. Like I said, it's either an ex or somebody new, just waiting for the opportunity. But they're not going to do anything because they don't want to it, it feels a little selfish. It's almost like they don't want to interfere because you have, you have a lot going on. It sounds like that, but it feels mostly like they don't want to interfere because you have a lot going on. They don't want to be rejected, <laughs> which is, it seems like it's kind of about them. But, you know, at the same time, I mean, they could offer to help, you know, but it is what it is. Okay, so... I, so I'm getting down here that I feel like this person is going to settle for friendship. Like if you tell them you're really not interested in dating or getting back or anything like that, I kind of get a sense that this person's going to going to kind of like they don't want things to fall apart. They don't want to have like they don't want their heart broken, <laughs> you know, um, they don't want you to be with anybody else. But I feel like you guys are kind of like releasing this and they may come to you and just say well can we just be friends can we still hang out can we sp still spend time together can we whatever you know it feels to me like they're going to wait for the, the opportunity to progress something here with you or connect with you it feels to me like it's you who doesn't want it doesn't want to have anything serious right now um, for some of you, uh, I've said this before in my readings, and you know, people on my other channel can be really like, they're dogs sometimes. They can be so harsh. I don't find that energy here, which is why I'm motivated to keep giving you these messages. Um, but, and so I mentioned this at one time, and somebody got, a lot of people got really pissed off at me, and you know what? They can fuck themselves. But, because we're talking about life. Some, some of you may decide to keep this a casual, intimate relationship with this person, but nothing serious, okay? And I feel like that person may agree. <laughs> I'm not telling you to do that. I don't have an opinion on that either way. I'm just bringing out the messages messages here. So whatever you choose to do is, is on you, okay? So I feel like your person, four of pentacles in the reverse, um, Mm, they would be open to that, definitely. Or just open to friendship. You know, some of you are actually not wanting to return back to a past person and you may just friend zone them because you don't have the heart to tell them the time has come and it's done. You're kind of slipping away. I feel like you're slipping away and I feel like they don't want you to go. But some of you are just like... You have the heart to say, listen, this is completely done. Some of you are just going to do like a real slow letdown. New or past. Um, 
with the tower reverse, it's like trying to avoid um, destruction here. I feel like some of you just kind of, maybe you just feel bad in some ways. Um, I know, I hear you. I don't feel bad about letting my ex down. That's fine. It could be somebody new that you just are going to try to let down easily because, you know, like you're trying to avert disaster here or have like, and some of you are just not sure just yet. All right, what's the tower here? Yeah, look, you're letting them down easy with the full Aquarian energy so you can free yourself because <clears throat> you just want to be free. You just want to be single and free. You want to be free to roam and do whatever you want, not have any consequences and just, you know, be on your own for the time being, for now. And yet, they're going to wait for you. Whoever they are. New or old, they're going to wait for you. Because they... Listen, Virgo, i got to just keep it real here with you. If you don't want to be with somebody, just tell them straight out. Don't drag, don't lead them on. Just tell them straight out. It doesn't make you look like a bad person. It just means that you know what you want at this time. And you're clear and you're crystal clear and concise with that. Um, because I feel like if you don't say something to them, this person is going to wait and wait and wait. And I mean, obviously, they have their own will and they ought to be leveled up enough to say, oh, you're not interested in me? Well, I'm not waiting for you. Goodbye. But it feels like this person is tremendously interested in you and they're going to hang around. They're going to hover around. Every time you come into the bank, they're going to have like hope. Every time you, <laughs> every time you just, if you decide to just be on a friendly kind of thing and just texting back and forth, you're giving them hope. Every time you decide to just be physically intimate with them in a casual relationship, you're giving them hope. Um, it feels like you need to release this person and release if you're not ready for dating or to be in any kind of relationship with someone let them go just let them go because you can't like yeah four of cups reversed <sighs> boy this is just like choosing a new path here choosing a new direction you might tell this person or you might need to say to them listen i have another option um whether it's true or not sometimes you just have to like cut that cord cold turkey it you know um you got to do what's best for you unless you want them to wait if you want them to wait then then okay they're gonna i feel like this person's gonna stick around um, let me just see what's going on here with the fool. Oh, see the lovers. Oh my God. Some of you might seriously be saying no to this. You don't want it because you're, you want someone else or you may have another interest. Some of you may have another option. Uh, might be a fitness trainer. Uh, some of you, some of you might be just kind of putting them on the back burner to see what they'll do. And I don't really feel like they're going to do anything. I do feel like they've made the decision, though, that you are their your soul flame. You are their soul flame, and there isn't anybody else for them. Um, and I do feel like they're going to stick around. Wow, I'm just looking at that. That kind of looks like a tornado in the background. But it's not. It's an angel. It's just from where I'm looking here. Oh, boy. This person really feels like you are their... Usually it's like Virgo who's like, oh, that, is that my twin flame or soul flame? I don't even know if this person knows what that is. They might just view it as a, as a soul mate, whichever. But your other person, somebody external to you, past or a new admirer or both, think that you are their soul mate. They're, I don't know if this person gets tower readings or they've been looking into this so they've been understanding this more but i feel like they may be if it's your past person or this new person coming in may already be aware of that know what it is 
but they are like you know yes Virgo bow down whatever you want <laughs> Virgo's like I can't get rid of this MFR <laughs> crazy all right let me get a couple of messages of love cards here there goes messages of love I went easy on the music tonight. I'm feeling pretty mellow. Let's say play hard. Some of you are playing hard to get. Holy sh... Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Some of you are just going to make the decision that you're just going to keep this person around as like um, a fun friend, quote unquote, to pass the time to keep the loneliness at bay okay and some of you are purposefully doing this with an ex you're playing hard to get you're kind of trying to make them suffer a little but not too much you don't want to hurt this person but you want them to suffer what the <laughs> you devious virgos so devious and scandalous oh my gosh and i don't know who exactly is doing that if you want to admit it, go for it. Let me see what else. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Okay, well, if you're going to make this person suffer a little bit, um, that's going to work out for you. Because I feel like the more you kind of like dig your heels into this person, the more they're going to uh, want to wait for you. I feel like if you weren't, if you weren't playing hard to get, or if you weren't, if you were giving them everything they wanted, this whole reading would be completely different. One person giving too much. Okay. It's them. It's the, either the new person or the ex. It's like, tables have turned. I feel like um, you maybe you in the past were the runner, and this or you were the chaser and this person was a runner and I feel like now you're running and they're like where's Virgo where's Waldo where's Virgo that kind of thing and now they are over giving they're going to start over giving to you everything happens for a reason <laughs> no coincidences you're safe and divinely guided okay some of you have consulted with your spirit guides about this oh put away the computer working less will help strengthen your relationship huh i'm not sure if that i'm not feeling like that's relating to this message i feel like that's a separate message for somebody tell me you're just like on the computer too much on your phone too much take a break mastery you've learned the spiritual lesson children are important to this partnership retreat okay and boundaries firm boundaries are needed now all right so if you're playing hard to get and you're you're trying to get this person to just you want to see how much they want you or how much they're really going to invest um I will have to say, I feel like this person is kind of on to you. Like they, they kind of have a hunch. Like I told you in the beginning, they're very intuitive. They may be picking up that you're playing hard to get on purpose or that you're just kind of playing a little bit of game with them. Yet, yet they're not going to concede just yet. They're kind of playing a game back with you a little. So if you've been... If you've pulled away or you're not really communicating this person and if some of you are like you know it's been a long time how come they haven't reached out because um, some of you I know went into this thinking well as soon as you pull away they're gonna chase after you no um, they're kind of on to it a little bit and they're doing it back to you a little bit yet I feel like this person Virgo nobody's more patient than a Virgo first of all but I feel like this person might have you beat a little bit. So don't cave. <laughs> don't cave. Hold out for as long as you can, Virgo. 
I feel like they might have you a little bit beat in the, uh, the, the waiting game. I feel like this person can sit back. Maybe they know that you will always reach out to them. Um, if you do, then you've, and you, after about all this time, then you've, you've wasted all your effort and energy. I don't feel like this person is going to go anywhere anyway, but there might be a little bit of, um, game playing on both sides, playing hard to get. And I know some of you enjoy that. And some of you are like, F this, I'm out of here. We can just be friends. And then you're moving on to your fitness trainer <laughs> or somebody else. Let's take a look and see what they're messages of love here i left you before you could leave me hmm. all right for some of you this person walked away from the connection which in turn forced you to do the same and yet now there's this runner chaser delayed waiting game kind of thing playing out here between the two of you i wish things could be different i hope that you can forgive me one day i feel you even though we are apart I told you this person is very intuitive they're 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 very much like i said if it's a past person they're very much connected to you still they they can feel your energy they can feel your vibes somehow some way okay um And for somebody new here i wish things could be different this kind of feels like now's the right now is now it's not the right time for you guys to connect. Like I said, either they're sensing something, maybe you just started a job. And that would be like so inappropriate for this person to just start hitting on you as soon as you start a job. Um, so the, if, if you've just started a new position or you relocate or something's new in your life, um, they're, they're watching you just waiting for the right time. Maybe you're already talking to them, but they're not going to push themselves on you just yet. Um, if you guys were, if you met at work and you're interested in this person, but you're not ready for anything, um, sometimes this person leaves work early, um, to try to have the upper hand. I just feel like there's a lot of game playing. I want to feel that way again. What way? You are the best thing in my life. Oh, that's your past person. Mm. That's why they're waiting for you because nobody else compares to you virgo in their mind that's why they're waiting for you they'll play the game as well they're kind of on to you but they're not going anywhere they'll take whatever you offer you could throw them scraps off the table and they'll they'll lick them up they'll eat them up whatever you offer i hid who i really am from you but i'm starting to understand our connection well, listen, Virgo, like I said, if you are purposely ignoring this person because you're playing a game, which, you know, don't knock it. Everybody, everybody plays games sometimes. Um, maybe some people have lessons to learn, learn, but if that's what you're doing, you're um, pulling away or just doing your, your stuff or working on yourself is actually, def is actually having an effect on them. Like they're beginning to understand some things which perhaps maybe they didn't understand before um, in your relationship, okay? Which is, you know, good for them. Let's see. What are the other messages here for you, Virgo? Let's see. Other messages for Virgo. Thank you guys for the super chats. Okay. Well, regret just popped out. And toxic city. All right. Somebody's definitely regretting something. Oh, I just heard thunder. I think we're getting like a really big storm tonight. Something's got a hold of you. Breaking the chain seems impossible, Virgo. Take it a day at a time. Healing doesn't happen overnight. Face your fears. Pray for guidance and asked to be lifted out of this. This is a time of deep struggle. You know you're not alone. A lot of you are doing things. You regret you didn't do it before, and now you're doing something here, and it's really difficult for you. It's not your normal pattern. Um, it's not your normal way of handling something. Okay, 
of illusion. Although there may not be enough light to see ahead and the shadows may frighten you, only believe in what you can see and not what your mind may be telling you, the mind tricks. So you got to trust your intuition right now, Virgo. If you're feeling in doubt of a situation, um, wait until more information is available. So I, I kind of feel like some of you are doing a no contact thing or you're just, you know, it could be half and half. You could be just like letting go of this person. Hopefully they'll wise up. But you're also working on yourself. You're also attracting a new lover as well. But some of you are doubting that this is working. And I feel like it is to some degree. But, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Remember that. If you're impatient, this person's more patient than you. And so if you want things to work, you have to be patient. Okay, learning a new skill. So some of you, maybe you've gone back to school. This could be somebody at a, a new like university for, or wherever you're going for training or a new job, okay? So for some of you, maybe you've recently started a job or you have one coming up or you've got new employment. Okay, now you've got a love offer. That's in reverse again. And so I feel like what's going on here is this, this is delayed, okay? Um, this love offer is delayed, okay? Mm, it's coming because it showed up here, but it's not coming right away. I feel like this person, like I said, is just kind of waiting for the right time, but not giving up. So there's a lot of dependence here. This person, I feel, is quite dependent on you or will be the more time that goes by. Okay, bossy male. So some of you could be connecting with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, where this person comes in like very powerful. Oh, okay. They just showed me deeply loving male. So some of you could be connecting with what we saw here, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, where that person is very supportive, tolerant, and empathetic. Nurturing. The bossy male is someone who is pretty feisty. They're very confident. Um, they don't have confidence as far as reaching out to you right now. They may have a fear of rejection, but in every other area of their life, they're like that. The same with this deeply loving male. Okay, you could switch the sexes too. Could be females. Could be a female water sign or fire sign or a male water sign or fire sign. Let's see. Okay, moving to a safe place. So some of you, like I said, you're relocating. Um, some of you work in a bank and you're, you're moving closer to where the vault or the safe is in your job. Um, but some of you, you're just relocating. Maybe you're buying a new home or you're selling a home or you're relocating somewhere where it's, you know, a safer place to live. Okay, material wish is being granted. There you go. Okay, so some of you are just waiting for the paperwork to go through. You're waiting for a loan to come through. Um, some of you are buying a new car, a safer vehicle, or something material. Okay, um, but whatever it is that on the material level, like it could just be maybe you're looking at, I don't know, a new bedroom set or a new furnishings for your home okay or you're trying to get a loan or you're trying to get another credit card or up your credit um you know it's material so some of you are hoping for uh an engagement ring or a wedding ring or one to be returned to you i just heard whatever it is whatever it is that you're wishing for for material that has um monetary value is you're going to get i feel like that's going to come to you if you were hoping for this from a past person and some of you walked away um hoping that they would that might have been something you wanted and your past person would never take that step i feel like it's coming okay yeah transition this is what i said what you guys are going through um, 
the season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new season. Allow it to happen. Go with the flow. It's time for change. Okay, and peace. Beautiful. Um, so that we have Scorpio and Sagittarian energy. Trust that God is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, be patient. And trust his timing. Okay. Yep, stay on your ground. Remember I said, be patient, don't give up. Whatever's going on, whatever you're doing, even if you're not purposely doing anything or you're not playing hard to get or testing somebody, um, it may look like that to other people. Some of you are just like, I'm not out here trying to test anybody. I'm just doing me. And to, to, to others who are external to you, they're like, she tested me. She is he testing me? That's what they think, you know, because you're really just not engaging or you're not involving yourself. I think actually a lot of you are in that percentage who are not trying to test anybody. You just you, you got more other important things to do right now in your life, and you're minding your own business. But whatever's going on, whoever these people, these two people are external to you, are looking at you like you're doing it on purpose <laughs> you know i mean i'm sure maybe there's like one percent of you that are but i feel like a lot of you are just like no i've released that person i'm not trying to I'm not trying to do anything they're taking it that way it's not my problem okay and some of you might just be you know saying yo we can just chill whatever yeah i mean i, I don't mind you know, i'll wish you a happy birthday or something but you're just you know I don't know. It's making someone come back. Now we have highly logical male. So all the signs are showing up. Fire, um, water, and now we have air, male or female. Okay, and this is someone who comes across as, um, and it's in the upright. So they come across as like someone who, I want to say is just very, well, logical and strategic. And um, someone who chit chats or likes to talk very smart very intelligent type of a person um witty witty kind of communicator okay so all the signs i mean the only thing the only sign we're missing here is earth um and if that shows up and if it doesn't show up at all then it's mostly significant for you although it is over here so i guess it doesn't really matter all that much because you do have King of Pentacles, male or female, over here as well, for those of you. Let's see what else. Okay. Yeah, still undecided. So you guys, some of you are just, like the whole situation. That's how I feel. The whole reading is just nothing set in stone here. It's very undecided right now. So everything's up in the air. There's a lot of waiting energy. There's no one's doing anything just yet. And that's fine. I mean, it's like on that, it's on the path. You know, the, the, the train's on the tracks. It's just not moving forward just yet as far as love goes. But it's it's there. It's ready. Emotional wish granted as well as material. So this is joy. This is the ish. I'm sorry. This is the uh, nine of cups here. Okay. So I feel like whatever you're wishing for on an emotional level, Okay, both nines, material wish and emotional wish, because I always feel like the nines are wishes. Um, this is like completion, accomplishments, getting what you want, and you will be. Your heart is going to be very happy at some point. You just have to be patient. <laughs> whatever plans you have, whatever's going, justice is served. See, remember that thing that you were sweating over? Yeah, well, that's ending. You're in a good place now because a verdict is delivered in a favor of in favor of you. So you're gonna get what you want. Whatever you're desiring, whatever you're putting out into the universe. Sorry, guys, I had like this horrible cough attack. I think I like inhaled dust. Oh, my God, it made me cry. I don't know what that was. I know um, Jose said, keep my candles far away. Maybe he's right. 
Maybe I should move my candles <clears throat> for next time. My goodness. I once did a live stream and I had a coughing attack and I forgot to turn off the microphone. I forgot to mute it. And oh my God, I sounded like an 80 year old hacking up a fur, ball of fur. And when I finally came back, they were all laughing, <laughs> asking if I was okay. It was like a blooper. And I was like really humiliated, but it was, it was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> I just left it up there, I don't care. But this time, I hit the mute button real quick because I want to scream like, okay, non-committal. That's what I'm saying. This person's not committing to anything just yet. There's this like, hmm, and neither are you, right? And you won't be. I don't see you diving deep with anybody here. All right, one more. Popular social female. Okay, so we have two fire signs here. Okay, so... That could be anybody. I mean, it's definitely um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, male or female. <coughs> I just feel like you guys, I mean, that could be you. Some of these could be you coming in in all these energies. A lot of you, like we've been saying in the past few readings, are really doing the level up, glow up. <coughs> but all I know is when it comes to love, You've got an ex person who's waiting for the right time to come see you or make a move towards you. And um, because they're definitely waking up to something here and you've got somebody new that's interested in you, but <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure why these people aren't making moves. It could be because you're giving off the energy of like, don't touch me. Don't poke me. Stay away from me. And others because you're doing your own thing and others of you may have explicitly told these people or a person or will tell the new person or whatever um not right now it's not a good time <clears throat> okay luck is on your side beautiful this is new moon in sagittarius so specifically for moon and sagittarius people but luck is on your side here Remember I told you, whatever it is that you want or you're hoping to have, whatever you're planning, whatever you're doing is going to work out for you. I feel like it's going to work out for you. <clears throat> whatever you're trying to get, bring love into the situation. Okay, moon in Aquarius for those of you who have moon in Aquarius. So bring love into the situation just means I feel mostly like not necessarily with these people at this time because I don't feel like a lot of you are ready for that but I feel like mostly like in your life water and nourish things in your life here um, I, a lot of you I just kind of get a sense you're doing that already like a lot of you are just like I'm already doing that I'm watering my plants and I'm watering my soul nourishing my soul all right let's see <coughs> I'm so mellow tonight. I'm really not in the mood to be doing <laughs> sassy sessions tonight. I'm just so mellow. Let me see. What else? What's your advice here? <clears throat> there you go. How about that? Nourishing your plants, watering your plants, taking care of you. Seeds well planted. Efforts or investments will be rewarded in the future. Virgo, um, you just need to be patient. I feel like that's what all this message is about. It's a time for resting, planning for the future, and don't worry. Un don't have unnecessary worry. Um, this is all going to come back around to you, Virgo. <clears throat> Whatever you're up to, you're going to see rewards of that soon. King of Cups. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, charitable benefactor, seeing a counselor. Okay, some of you might be working with a counselor. A counselor? A chancellor? A counselor. <clears throat> Nourishing your own seeds in your soul. A lot of you just got away from a relationship and went and you know, could be seeing a counselor just to kind of rebuild and get yourself free. 
<clears throat> or to heal. Just a little assistance. If not, it could be a good friend or someone that you could trust. <clears throat> um, now, I just heard for some of you, this new love coming in could be like um, someone that works like with plants. They raise uh, succulents or something to do with succulents or um, bonsai trees could be some kind of like a hobby that you might be getting into or you learn something from this person okay what the wise counselor oh my gosh some of you are gonna could be a counselor some of you might be having okay I just so I'm just gonna say this it could be a counselor you're connecting with that's like a relationship blossoms with that person. I don't know if that's ethical or not, but because I don't work in that industry, like I don't know what the laws are, but it doesn't mean feelings can't be developed. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to act on it, but unity with a spiritually minded community or person, asking the divine for help and trusting the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. I feel like some of you may be seeking a counselor. Somebody might be giving you good advice about what to do with your love life. It could be like maybe just sorting out some past energy. Um, and some of you are just maybe trying to seek help or what to do with a relationship that you've put on hold or what the next step is. Very well could be happening you know, from this point going forward. Because the King of Cups is always like a counselor, you know? It doesn't actually have to be that. But it can represent someone who deals with the emotions. All right, let's do your charms. Oh, we have eight minutes to get through charms. Now, not all of you are going to have like a love relationship with your counselor. Just let me say that. There might just be like, it could be platonic love or a friendship or just, you know, a caring kind of, not romance. Okay. Wow. All right. The crab is here. I'm picking up a cancer. Um, July, I'm sorry, June, June 21st to July 23rd, somebody's birthday. Oh, I got to give you the dates too. I'm also picking up, okay, somebody could be on the cusp of Cancer Leo. Um, could be like the person that you, your person or some, some person here that, uh, you have a connection with. All right. Some of you are just going in. To get your hair done and you're talking about your stuff with your hairdresser and your hairdresser's like giving you wise advice maybe you've already done that <laughs> could you know um it could be a barber as well okay because you have the scissors here could just be you too some of you are getting like implants like hair implants or thinking about doing that you could be getting advice about that um if you have um some bald, uh, baldness or something or it could be also extensions somebody might be getting hair extensions <clears throat> or getting a wig fitted um, but somebody's got one heck of a nice head of hair with this lion, you know, like a lion's mane. Somebody has beautiful hair or is getting beautiful hair, like it's gonna get their hair done for something, okay? Gorgeous, full head of hair. Or that this, that's somebody coming in or it's your person, just has very beautiful hair. And we get the yin yang. Okay, so this is definitely a match there could be a tattoo of a yin yang somewhere, <clears throat> but it's it's all one piece. It's all it's all together. It's all one piece. I know you guys can't see. Let me see if I can um, try and move these. 
I know you guys like the way I placed them the other day. Let's get all this card out of the way. Okay. Yeah, so. And then it's like imagine. So creative, creativity working on the hair, I feel. <clears throat> some of you are getting something done you've never done before. Maybe like some kind of haircut or you're doing something different. I mean, if that's something that you are thinking about, um, you may have like a very creative idea. Some of you are thinking of a creative idea for a yin yang uh, tattoo. Um, and somebody, they just told me, somebody's having twins. <coughs> Excuse me. Could be your pet, could be someone you're connected to. Well, not pet, pet. Pets usually have <laughs> more than two. So could have two twin dogs, maybe two dogs that look exactly the same, or there's or there's twins. Somebody's a twin. Let me see. What else? Oh, the avocado's back. Well, you know that message, okay? That message is just start, you got to eat healthier. Wait a minute. Who here had, um, somebody's parents had like an olive, avocado, olive green refrigerator. <clears throat> That's probably a lot of people from back in the day, but I feel like, um, and then they just gave me avocado earrings. What are you, Carla from Cheers? Avocado. Avocado earrings. Is that a city, avocado? I don't think so. Is it? I don't know. Well, if those messages resonate, like, it's definitely for you. Oh, so we get a lotus. All right. Well, that represents peace. Maybe a lotus. Some of you are looking at it, at, like, trying to decide on what tattoo to get. <clears throat> I say if you're going to get a tattoo... Um, if you have someone that you love, combine their um, planet, planetary symbols. So yours would be Mercury if you're Virgo Sun. Um, or you can get a tattoo combining your symbols, your, your planetary symbols. You can even combine it with your zodiac symbol as well. There's a white shirt with a heart on it. So uh, this tells me that who, whomever your person is or whoever is coming in, you're going to be connecting with, um, they wear their heart outside of their chest, like a really big heart, okay? Um, like I said, it could be your counselor, it could be your law, landscaper, it could be your past person. I just see like the heart is open, it's on the outside, uh, you could see it beating, um, and some of you, this person works like either in the ER. Uh, maybe somebody has a white shirt with a red heart on it. Um, or there's this, somebody's walking around with a stethoscope. I just heard. I actually saw it. Um, or somebody wears like a white lab coat or a doctor's coat. Um, they have like a heart on it somewhere. Maybe it's like cardiology or just like for heart health or something. <coughs> Oh, unicorn always shows up in your readings, you guys. Purple and white. So the unicorn's here again. If this, if the last reading that had the unicorn in it, um, and I said that your person believes that you're a unicorn, they still think that about you. You're still something special to them, Virgo. All right, that one fell, and I wanted to take it. There's a spider. Okay. Some of you are widows, but you're not ready to <clears throat> get into a full-on relationship yet, which is fine. You might be holding off. This could also have something to do with, like, maybe you saw a spider today, or you see one now, or you might see one later. I mean, it is tis the season for cobwebs and spider webs and spiders. So also something here to do with Halloween. So there might be something showing up for Halloween, okay? Um, I just want to get some dates for you guys real quick. I just felt called to get some dates. All right, let me see. 
Okay. Okay, August 5th. And May 8th, the 10th, <clears throat> October 2nd, September 10th, September 11th, and September 2nd. July 12th. Um, I just heard February 7th. And 8th. February 7th and 8th. And the 12th. I'm also hearing the 16th. Okay, um, October 6th. Somebody's a Pisces, connecting with a Pisces. January 1st and the 10th. Okay. We have March 21st. I don't know who this is connecting with. Um, I also have December 10th and the 3rd. Did I say January 11th? That's 111. And also October 1st. Oh, wow. 6-6. Six, six. June 6th. September 15th. And 19th. April uh, 2nd. <clears throat> December 15th. Did I say that already? They keep giving me the same ones. And November 13th. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave your dates there. I don't know what that means, who they connect to, but if if it, res if it if the reading resonates for you, then it's your reading, okay? And if the dates resonate for you, then it's your reading. If the charms resonate for you, then it's your reading. If anything resonates for you, it's your reading might be one thing might be 10 things so just take what fits leave the rest as i always say and yeah that's gonna be it you guys that was so much fun i'm gonna get done here because we have a big nor'easter coming up the east coast two of them it's called a they're saying it's a a bomb cyclone so i don't know if my roof's gonna lift off and i'm gonna be flying out of here like dorothy we'll have to see hopefully if you don't hear from me tomorrow <laughs> then you'll know that I'm gone, <laughs> stuck up in a tree somewhere. All right, you guys, so awesome to hang out with you. Um, I think this bomb storm thing is going to be around for a couple of days, so hopefully I'll have Wi-Fi tomorrow and I'll be able to pop back on. But if not, then I'll see you the following day. We'll see how it goes. All right, you guys, love you, and I will see you all tomorrow, God, God willing. All right, take care, Virgo. Bye, bye. Thank you, thank you, bye. Love you.